Hey y'all, so I just want to come on here and talk about something for a minute. So I see some young people posting that, you know, they're not going to, or not supporting Kamala Harris because of the Israel-Gaza conflict. And I just want to tell you, both candidates support Israel because Israel is one of our allies and has been for many, many years. So I don't know who you're going to vote for because no one ever agrees fully on every single candidate. And who are we really going to vote for? I mean, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris or Trump, I mean, who are you really voting for? Because even RFK <laughs> stepped down and said he wasn't running anymore because he supports Trump. And I predicted that a while back, that he was going to do that. And I was right. And I, I mean, I've seen many, many videos with his supporters saying that they are only supporting RFK because they want to split the vote. So you know, at the time, Joe Biden, now Kamala Harris, so that, so that she doesn't win. And <clears throat> I'm just saying, no candidate you're going to agree with 100% of the time. And I don't, I don't agree with what's going on in, in, with Israel and Gaza myself, you know, but I'm just saying, I support Kamala Harris and more, the majority of what she supports versus Donald Trump. I agree with almost everything she stands for policy wise from what i've seen versus donald trump and that's and that is the kind of thing that you have to think about when you're talking about politics is who who whose ideas do you most align with and that's the candidate that you support or you should vote for i just wanted to come on here and say that and that's the that's the case every single time just like with hillary people didn't want to vote for her because they didn't support the email thing or, or whatever reason they I wasn't involved back then but that's that's what the things that I've heard but I agreed I would have voted for her because I agree with her on a majority of things <laughs> and you see she was right about so much but anyways just want to come on here and give that viewpoint to y'all because I'm just saying just because you don't support one single issue that she has a view on and she has condemned the innocent killing of Palestinians in Gaza. So I'm just saying, she supports, you know, she wants a ceasefire. She wants the hostages released. She is making progress on the subject. While it may not be what we want as a, as a whole, it is definitely a progress and is definitely better than the, al the, the alternative. I'm just saying, we know that Trump would annihilate Gaza and have absolutely zero mercy on them. Kamala Harris at least has a common sense approach to it. And while it may not be as much as we like, it still has some humanity behind it. So anyways, like I said, you need to support the candidate that aligns mostly with your values. And that is what I'm doing by supporting Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. Y'all have a good day. Vote. And also, just because you don't support what's going on across seas, that doesn't mean that you should just not vote in local elections either, because we have a lot of people that are running for office this year. Actually, we have more Democrats running this cycle than we've had in a decade, according to the Democratic Party of Arkansas. So I'm just saying, we need to vote local. Local races are often more important than those federal voting. I'm just saying. And we do have some great candidates running all over the state, from, from the very bottom level to the top. I'm just saying. This most recent polling came out showing Kamala Harris ahead in Arkansas's second and third congressional districts, which is French Hill and Steve Womack, and they have opponents this year. Marcus Jones, he's running in central Arkansas, and Caitlin Draper is running in northwest Arkansas. Y'all need to look those people up. Go, go online, search them, look what they're about. We can make positive change in Arkansas. It's very possible. We just gotta get out and vote. We gotta support these candidates, whether it's writing postcards for them, getting, on, getting out and knocking on doors like I've been doing. There's a lot of different ways to help candidates. Phone bank, text bank, get a list of voters. You, you send them text messages, you call them, whatever you're comfortable with. You write postcards. There's ways to get involved. They cannot win without us. We need to support them, whether it's by dollars, postcards, phone calls, a lot of different ways to help y'all. Let's, let's get out there and support these people so we can make progress. Y'all have a good day.